says Greenock. Well, it looks like we gotta go through a terminal area. Somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, okay. We will walk that way. Thank you. There's a lady here who'll deal with you. Ah, okay. oh, there you go. I've Thank taught her everything she knows. I'm sure. Oh yeah, I'm sure you did. That's why she's running. Okay. No. I'm tired. Love it. I'm glad it's nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool again. Morning. Sakura. Yeah. Hey, no. It's very Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, oh yeah, you're right. You have to. <laughs> it's very Scottish. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, you're right. You have to. Thank you. You might need Okay. So my name's Billy. I'm your guide for today. Hey Billy. Hi. Hello uh, guys. So where's all from? America, and New Zealand, American. Florida. Florida. Well, that's America. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been on the sauce last night. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. He's gonna say foreigners. Yeah. I'm from, I'm from Glasgow and Scotland. Uh, 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 so I'll do the safety first. So, have a disclaimer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, disco lights. Oh, 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 disco oh, lights. Oh, oh, disco oh, lights. Oh, 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 <laughs> so if these doors should get blocked off by any chance, there's a hammer either side of the coach. Break the glass and escape. Oh, break the coach the is sinking wow. right. oh, the It's network. through the roof. Just mm -hmm. break the glass. Oh, that's your belly. And guys, there's none of this women and children first. It's every man for himself. <laughs> 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 um, there's a fire extinguisher under my seat. Should anyone go and fire? <laughs> Should anybody go and fire? Hand sanitizer down at this door. Feel free to use it. And there's a first aid kit down there as well. So if you lose an arm or anything, just put a little plaster on it, you'll be fine. And put a hand sanitizer. No, guys. So, this morning, we're going to head to our oh, it's right. it's right. called Lus. And we're down here just now. This is my Glasgow one, so we're going to come down this way over the Eskin Bridge and up to a little village called Lus. And then from Lus, we're going to go to Calendar for lunch, which is over there. Uh, but this road's all shut off now. The Duke's passed, so we're going to take a shortcut along here and then up there. And um, we'll go to Calendar for uh, lunch. It's a nice little village. And um, lots of doing as well, and I'll show you where to get the best steak pies in Calendar. Steak and green pies. And then we're going to go down to Stirling Castle. We've got you all booked in. Nice little joint to wait me. Uh, and then from Stirling Castle, we're going to come back down, um, down the motorway, back to. Okay, nice. Brilliant. So have a nice day. Fingers crossed it rains stays off because we downpoured here yesterday. So hopefully that's all out of the way. And enjoy your day guys. We'll give you a bit of commentary. I'll play some Scottish music as well. So welcome to Greenock. Greenock has always got a reputation of raining anyway so this is kind of normal. Yeah, it's got a population of 44,000. to be mass massive in the shipbuilding industry, same as Glasgow. <laughs> so where were you guys before today? Where were you yesterday? Oh, on Belfast. Oh, Belfast, ah. Yeah. How's the weather over there? Wet? No. No, no we've been drinking. Wrong answer, wrong answer. Uh, humor me, humor me. <laughs> humor. Last the dreaded question, especially for the ladies. Uh, who watches our lander? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jamie Fraser. 
<laughs> yeah, he's the bane of my life. My wife had an affair with him during COVID. <laughs> Just with her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> And then after storming it at night with my kilt on, doesn't bat an eyelid. <laughs> He's just a man in a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> so just beyond these trees here you see the, the big statue, silver statue, uh, of the Scalpies. Uh, it was just erected a couple of years ago. You see the Lands Rock. Uh, over to your left here, uh, that's the Barton Rock with the Barton Castle sitting on top of it. Seventy-three metres high up, and it's played quite a, a role in Scotland's history uh, over the years. It was the last known place that Sir William Wallace was before he was captured and taken down to England for execution. So Mary, Queen of Scots, stayed in the castle in 1563. And Barton and Gaelic is Dunbreton, which just simply means Fortress of the Britons. I just love their. That's why you gotta watch Outlander, dude. You learn so much from the show. Just about the culture and the history and its adventure and crime and drama, <laughs> you like and romance, that. And comedy. One of these days I may watch it. It's a good show. Just the first season. The first season is the best one.
I know, trying to come out. Tis. Nestled on the western shore of the Bonnie Banks of the Loch Lomond, Luss is an attractive small village in southern Scotland. Look at all the gnomes. Oh, that's so cool. Hilarious. It's like statues of all kinds. Around 1500 years ago, an Irish missionary, St. Cressig, arrived at Loch Lomond, bringing Christianity to the area. There's a coffee shop right there. Coach House Coffee Shop. At the time, Luss was called Clock and Do, which meant the Dark Village, because it laid in the shadow of the surrounding hills. St. Cressag was put to death and his body was embalmed with sweet herbs. Legend has it that the herbs grew and covered his grave. The word herb is called Lus in Gaelic, hence providing a new name for the village, Lus. This settlement has stood on the site since medieval times, although much of the current village dates from the 18th to 19th centuries, having been developed to house workers from the nearby slate quarries. The village of Luss is easily accessible from Glasgow, the largest city in Scotland. A day trip exploring Luss and the surrounding areas of the Loch Lomond is one of the most amazing things to do from Glasgow. Without doubt, the village of Luss is a must-see stop on any road trip itinerary of Scotland.
September 11th. It is a beautiful day here in the Glasgow, Scotland area. We are at the Stirling Castle and it is an absolutely gorgeous day.